When you were in AEW, you had Brian Danielson helping you. Do you have any names in WWE that you lean on right now that you really feel like has your best interests in mind and, you know, really is going to help you get to that next level? Yeah, I mean, Cody Rose is one of the people I go to for advice all the time. And honestly, he's very sound in his advice and I take it to heart. Um, obviously, we have the CM Punks from previous his um, history that we have. I go to him to uh, lean on him. Oh, my gosh, Paul Heyman. I, I hit him up all the times of the night. Like He's like, it's fine, it's fine. And I know I probably annoy him, but thank you, Paul Heyman. I appreciate it. Um, that's one of the people I go to and I ask for advice in this industry because, I mean, he survives generations. I mean, he's it's Paul Heyman we're talking about. And that's one of the people when I, I was so eager when I got here. I was like, listen, there are two people I want to meet when I come here. And that was the one person I was like, please. I was one of the two. And I was like, please, I have to meet you. I have to take a picture with you. Um, Trinity. So, um, it was, sorry, Naomi, that's one of the people that I go to for advice. Well, and Bianca, I mean, she's been at the top of the echelon. I mean, going to her and having to work with her, she and I have all kind of advice for one another and just uh, sharing our experiences. Is talking about uh, Naomi and Bianca, the you know, yourself, the big three, yeah. is that why it made it uh more successful i guess is the right way to put it because you had a genuine relationship behind the scenes yeah so i knew uh naomi before i even got here so uh, that was one of the people that when i got into the industry before i even got into the industry was one of the people that i looked up to um so now that i was working with her it was like wow like this is crazy who would ever thought um and then bianca obviously being at another production seeing that she's another woman another black woman out there killing it and taking names you know obviously i'm gonna see her so me working with her was like Oh, wow. Like, I get this opportunity. I get this chance. Um, but another person I forgot to mention, and it's not a forgot, is Ricky Starks. So he's one of the people I go to for sound advice, too. And he's probably, like, the little guy on my ear, right? on my shoulder, always giving me advice. He probably gets annoyed with me, but um, his his help is very appreciated. Uh, I, I don't know what his future holds, but I'd, I'd like to see more of him. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, so. Yeah. 